Just take a look at the drip. You boys don't get fired in this. Wait, it's lit. She want to catch all of the drip. Drip, drip. Here's Branton. I've been wiring this for the past 30 minutes now. All right. So if this works, am I gonna see the lights in the pond turn on? Should. I'm ready. The moment of truth. Just a ready. moment. Siri, shut up. Okay, yeah, I'm ready. Are you ready? Oh. <laughs> well, that didn't work. It looks like, like I shut off this side of the house. Brenton. Yeah? My bedroom lights are out. <laughs> well, Nami's bedroom lights are out. I think that turns it back on. We're back on. Oh, bro, he's so cute. <laughs> what is he doing? Don't smell. Don't smell. Don't smell. What is that? Why is that in there? Well, I had to take all the weeds out of the pond. Why do weeds smell like that? I thought it was just like grass. Absolutely nothing that's been done tonight has been a success so far. This is an awful idea. We're about to hand wrestle a peacock bass via bag. Oh my goodness. But I didn't show you guys. I put a new light in the goat pen, so it's very bright in there now. Hopefully nobody tries to steal my animals. And there's a security camera in the corner over there. So yeah, we got to get the peacock with a bag and move him into here. It's going to be super, super hard to catch him. But welcome back to another video, ladies and gentlemen. He's a little beat up. That's because yesterday, him and the Oscar were fighting. I think it's because they're the two largest fish in the tank. You guys probably are gonna not believe me, but it's because their color scheme is the same too. They're the only two fish that are similar in this tank really. So they, they started going at it. So it was actually kind of good that I'm taking him out now. I mean, I think right now his fillets would fit perfectly on a dinner plate. What do you think, Brenton? <laughs> That's not where I was going. So now we hand wrestle the peacock bass. Ow. He's move not very happy about what you're doing. The air one could move out of the way if he really disagrees with what's happening right now. I don't suspect this is going to work. Seems a lot better than catching with a net like most people do. That was actually the calmest, best way to do that ever. I can't believe I just did that. Oh, that's a lot of water. It's okay. It's okay. It's you're gonna okay. be fine, Randy. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. 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 Stop freaking out. Stop freaking out. Stop freaking out. I just need to pull you out of the water. I need to. I <laughs> wow. It was calm. Uh, the purpose of the pond lights was to, to get them on. That way you guys could watch this with them on. But obviously that didn't work. Okay. So I'm tying that. It's got enough air for him to sit in here for a few minutes. He's just going to acclimate. Well, he tilted on his side. He should be good. He should be good. We're just going to give him probably like 10, 15 minutes. The water temperature is really, really similar. And then we've got a new peacock bass in here that we can hand feed. Unless he dies. Unless he dies. And then we got to go pick up our other fish that we took out of here. I don't think he's very happy right now. No. This is going so well. He is. I don't know, there he goes. He's in the pond. I don't know what to do with this cooler. Oh my god, you idiot. Give it a go. Alright, instead of giving us four dozen, he gave us six dozen. Which hey man, the fish are got it. the fish gotta eat. Dude, I just want him to eat. I just want him to eat. Oh. Oh, come on, guys. There goes the clean water. Well, this fish is gonna be overweight. Hopefully we get a school of minnows. This morning the pond was crystal clear because it was like overnight. Everything had a chance to settle down. I guess one of them didn't make it. Oh, you guys see him over there? Oh, you can barely see him, bro. Uh oh, there's the alpacas. Dude, I was about to say, where are the alpacas? Yeah, they're just roaming. Dude, everything is green, everything is freaking nice. Except for your pond, because the goats eat. It. So I filmed this video. I went to PetSmart. Anything my bunny touched, I was gonna buy. And I basically built this round pen for it to come outside and play in. I ended up throwing it away. But now we're gonna build another one. I've seen the fanaticbrand.com website. Yeah. It's terrible. <laughs> well, if you guys want to get the fish room merch at thefanaticbrand.com, that's where you can get it. As Nate said, it is such a good site. It's terrible. You realize what you just built, right? That's the play pin that you just built. <laughs> I told you it was going to be small. What the hell is the money supposed to do in that? <laughs> Don't worry. We're going to cut it in half. What would anything do in this? It's okay. It's Don't okay. cut it in half. Just do it like that and then make another one that long. It's the most spastic thing I've ever seen. This thing is adorable. Look, you're going outside now. You're gonna get swooped. This thing is absolutely adorable. You can't be outside all day because it's too hot out here, but that's why we put this thing in the shade. Sorry. Just look at that slow motion hop. Well, there you go, buddy. Okay, so basically we built this little thing. It's bigger than the one that's like the ones that you can actually buy. And uh, now the bunny can just kind of move around. It's bigger than the cage inside because it's in the house running around most of the day, but uh, it's probably good for it to come outside too. So we fed the fish. We put the fish in there. Yes. We made the bunny thing. Oh, we knocked out the power. We did that. Oh. 
I just added this salt block right here for the alpacas. This is a big deal. This thing is crystal clear. Um, I don't know if I've ever seen it. Well, it's actually kind of always been that clear. That's not the point. I made the executive decision. We have the bag. You guys know what that means. Fish number two, two in one video. You know, I could have saved these for all separate videos, but I think we're gonna we're gonna pull this Oscar out now. The water tub's good enough for him to go in there. So I am a, I don't know. I don't know if he's gonna be like the peacock. The peacock is pretty easy. This man, I don't, I don't know. All right. This technique freaking worked last time. See, we just skipped the whole net portion. We just go straight. Well, that didn't work. How can he see this? It's clear. Peacock bass is so much better. Over here, bud. Gosh, this Oscar is massive. This is the biggest Oscar I've ever owned. <sighs> You're not even in the back. You're not, even, you're not even in the back. This went so well last night. Look, he's about to start spamming. I can't. Yes, go that way. Go that way. I'm just gonna grab him by the head. What do I do? What do I do in this situation? This is what I have. This is what I have to work with. Come here, buddy. Oh, oh yeah, Adam. I got him. I got him. I got him. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. This is where, this is where it breaks out. I gotta pour some water out. There's too much water. Pour water out, pour water out. All right, let's go. Oh my God. Well, the peacock is down in the middle. He's been hanging out with the koi. You guys can see it cleared up a little bit. Okay, we are going to get this fish out like so. I took the majority of the water out so we're not mixing it. And he's in. Okay. That was probably the most difficult catch I've had to ever do in my room, but he is down there. The peacock's down there also. They're darker fish, so we're not going to be able to see them until I get a UV filter in this pond. Because right now, it's not the pond actually being dirty. It's more or less just kind of like the tent and the particles. So what we're going to do is get that stuff, but now there's three exotic fish. Water cow, goby, peacock, bass, and an Oscar. What's up little chicks, what's going on? I don't know if you guys can tell, but obviously the bunny pen was moved to up over here because uh, you can see him a little bit better. But yeah, he's he's chilling. There's the alpacas and they're following me. I'm not your mom, I'm not your mom. Oh, I literally left the net in here. Come on, come on, okay. That's good. But after wiping everything up, I am putting the arowana and red tail out there. I know a bunch of people were kind of like, Brenton, the arowana is going to jump out. Well, there's going to be a net over the pond. Some people don't like the nets over the pond, but you actually can't see the one that I'm getting. It's like so thin, you literally can't see it. So uh, that's perfect. And it's going to keep the ducks from going in the actual pond. On top of that though, our beta is freaking thriving. So is our figure eight puffer, and so is our axolotl. Where are you at? He's over here. He's always out now. Thank God, he's doing great. And our fan is still cooling down that water. Can't forget about the electric catfish. He's in there somewhere. But he's frick, you got, a, you got an airplane? What? Since when did you get one of those? We actually ended up leaving the bunny out all day long. And uh, that is just because, oh, hi. And that's because it actually got kind of cool out like in the 70s, so, uh, He's been just freaking vibing. Hi, little guy. Yeah, he's trying to scratch himself on my on my fingers, but no. This is a pretty cool thing. I don't know if we're going to keep it here necessarily, but it is nice for him to be able to come venture out and spend some time out in the world. Yeah? I don't think he really cares. I really just think all animals want food. With that being said, hope you guys went on to enjoy today's video. If you've yet to join my channel, click the subscribe button down below. Click the like button. Hit the notification bell. You guys can also follow me on Instagram, at fanatic.media. Yeah, I really appreciate that. When I used to do YouTube like, uh, like a year ago, uh, Instagram was much more prominent and I guess a lot of people don't go there now but that's a great way to contact me if you ever want to talk about anything I'm really lonely especially during the whole quarantine thing okay but yeah <laughs> if you guys have any videos ideas or suggestions comment them down below I just I think we're gonna bring the alpacas in the house they love TV so that's also probably gonna happen but with that being said hopefully you went on to enjoy it and I will catch you next time on the next episode of Fanatic oh oh there's a there's a chicken right there peace